Greetings, everyone. Uh, today's video is a video I've been needing to do for a while, okay? Not very requested, but something you might have thought of I might have needed to do. Since it's been needed to done for a while. Top 20 Goosebumps books of all time, so far, but I've read. I've only read about a quarter of the whole series. Give, your, give Yourself is the biggest chunk I haven't read, because I don't have many of the books. And the books I do have, I haven't even read most of them yet. But I've read a lot of Rules of 62. Uh, I haven't read any Rules of 62 in about a few months. Um, ever since school got out. Well, ever, ever since, like, the end of the year. Um, I haven't, like, read a single original 62 book. But there's only six left I have to read. Six. And if I like any of them so much, I might do a re-ranking. But I mostly will do a re-ranking when my number one might change. Or, like, my number... One of my top five change, okay? So, yeah, let's get into this. Top 20 Goosebumps books, starting with number 20, going down from a, the, the least greatest of the of the bunch to the most greatest, and there's no honorable mentions. Number 20, The Streets of Panic Parks. So we're beginning with a Horrorland book. The reason why I like this is, uh, it introduces us to Panic Park. I love Panic Park. Uh, Panic Park is a really good one. I'm reading the back here, it's really interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh. Panic Park is a really good book. And, spoiler alert, there's no spoilers. <laughs> um, I'm not giving spoilers in this video, so yeah, there's no spoilers. So don't worry, I'm not giving spoilers about the book. I'm just gonna say, I like it, move on. So, it's a good book. There's things I wish could have been better. I wish they maybe threw in a reference or two. Um... But seriously, I think Streets of Panic Park are really good. Well, it's really good. Moving on. My Friends Call Me Monster, number 19. Um, this book is very underrated, okay? Um, when I first read this, I had low hopes. and like, okay, this looks this looks like some sort of big monster from Mars or something. I'm like, whoa. But then I realized, no. It's actually a really good book. Uh, I like the concept. I like how our main character... Okay, no spoilers, but... I, I really like uh, how the book works. Um, it's a simple title, and that's why it works. It's a really good book, honestly. Underrated. I think that's like... Yeah, it's the only ever Horrorland book on here. Not a very... Not a lot of highlights in the Horrorland series, in my opinion. It, it was okay. It was more... It was It was a... Hmm, it's good series. Anyways, moving on. Number 18, Series Pheasant. Number 4, Invasion of the Body Squeezers, Part 1. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm really excited to uh, maybe eventually in the future do a review on Part 2, but let's just put it this way, I really didn't like Part 2 that much. And it's hard to review it when it was more fast pacing. I felt like it was shorter. I think it was. But seriously, it was, uh, this one was way better. It had a great build-up, and I like how it took a whole Goosebumps book to make a build-up for a second one, part two, coming right after it. It's really interesting how he did that, and it's never been, like, done before, like, straight after the, the first one. I don't think I've actually seen another book like that. Unless you count triple headers, but not part twos. Nothing like this, so. And honestly, the book in general is just actually really good, and it gives you Goosebumps. Moving on to number 17, if I'm correct. We have our first original 62, Came From Beneath the Sink. A controversial one, yes, I must say. Um, people say it's a bad book, but I highly disagree. Uh, I actually really recommend this one. It actually gave me goosebumps, and I thought it was actually really scary and funny, because this is one sign was starting to master that, like how he said. I think I heard in an interview, I wanted to do scary and funny, but Book of the Dead House is more scary than funny. Like, I don't know how to do it yet, and about around the 20th book, he started to figure it out. You know, there might have been Ghost Risers. Maybe I'll do a video on that in the future, but I doubt it. If anything, on my second channel. But seriously, I do recommend this book. Spoiler alert, it should have been obvious. Kitchen Sponge Monster. <laughs> Sugar on, guys. It's it, but seriously. <laughs> Okay, this is, next Goosebumps book is going to get a lot of hate. You're going to make me hate this one. Like, 
but it's not that good of a book. You're like, oh god, don't pull up chicken chicken. <laughs> beware to snowman. Um, so number 16, beware to snowman. Now, I think people hate on this book more than they should. Okay, it's a really good book in general, and I like the concept of Killer Snowman. It always gave me goosebumps just thinking about snow, scar, three giant balls stacked on each other, on each other with a scar, wrapped around the third ball, three rocks in a line, two stick arms, carrot nose, a mouth, and two rock eyes, rock hard penis. I mean, yeah. And it just comes to life and starts ramming at you. Damn, is it a good book? Um, it. I don't think they could. I. I don't think that. Um, I don't think Stein did as well as I wanted him to. But I still think he mastered the idea of hey, beware the snowman. It's pretty good. Anyways, this is like the most recent Goosebumps book, Sloppy in Dreamlands, number fifteen, Sloppy in Dreamland. Hmm. Is that number sixteen? Should put this at sixteen, but I think it's a little better than this one. Because Sloppy and Dreamland, it works um, as a really good Sloppy book. I actually think this is uh, one of the best Sloppy books from a separate series. The best. Sorry, I hear a jet right, right under the airplane. Or I mean the, the, the airport landing area. They go right above our house. It's getting lower. Yeah, I hear it. Sorry, guys. There's there's about a thousand airplanes flying over house today, and it's like, are you gonna crash into us eventually? Anyways, uh, Slappy in Dreamland is a really good book, and Slappy is amazing, honestly. He's really good. He's phenomenal. Okay, and moving on. Aussie fans' favorite book, The Horror at Camp Jelly Jam. The Horror at Camp. Oh my god, why did I say it? The Horror at Camp Jelly Jam is a really good book. Um. I don't think it's as good as Aussie fan says, but if he's even watching, he's like, no, come on, man. It's a good book. I like it. I didn't hate it, obviously. It's in my top 20 best. So, number 14. Well, for Freddy Friends series, we're going down the list. It's a good book. Sorry, everybody. Uh, parents are outside. I don't want them hearing me making a cringy video. So let's continue and hurry this a little up more. Anyways. Um. <laughs> okay, number... Thirteen. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm an idiot. Number thirteen. Wanted the Haunted Mask. When I, when I say this book is awesome, I mean it's uh, literally, it's two books and it's awesome. And, oh my god, it's the first time I read this in a while. These jokes in the back are top tier, they're funny, pretty funny. I ain't gonna mash your face, there's jokes on here. Anyways, Pawn Mask wanted the Haunted Mask. It's like the the Kickstarter to Goosebumps Wanted. Goosebumps Most Wanted. And it's a really good book. Um, It's a good Haunted Mask story. There's actually two stories in one. Spoiler, I guess. But it's still pretty creepy. It's a really creepy book. It And I'm basing these off Goosebump level for me, honestly. And how well it was written. So that's a really good book. And I do recommend it. If you get one with a poster inside it, don't take it out. It's pretty weird. Anyways, number 12, Monster Blood 2. You probably saw this one cutting, or not cutting, coming. It's Cuddles, the hamster, ham, got the ham part right. <laughs> Anyways, Cuddles, the horrible hamster. He's a horrible hamster. Got the horror part. I gotta stop with these jokes. Uh, Monster Blood 2 is a really good book, and I think the highlight is Cuddles. That's one of the main reasons why I'm on here. And also, it's actually really creepy. <sighs> Don't might disagree. Weird Halloween. I'm just joking. Not weird Halloween. <clears throat> Top 20 worse, honestly. Like, number 5. <clears throat> so bad. It's scary. 
Like number my number one least favorite book I've ever read of Goosebumps is Son of Slappy. Yeah, Son of Slappy. I hate it. So hard to read. Took me two years. Um Haunted Mask 2, the sequel. I like this more than the first one in many ways, but the first one is probably gonna be higher because it's actually on this list and actually gonna come up here in a minute. Yeah, it's gonna about to come up in here in a minute. But I'm saying that this book is it's a good book. I think it was well written. It's my favorite sequel ever, I think. Not kinda like the Night of the Lingo Man. It's my favorite book that only got one sequel, like in the main series. Or in general from the nostalgia factor. Like there didn't work. I mean Return of Hornland. Yeah, there were two Hornland books. There were two Terra Teller books. There were two Ghost Camp books. But this is my favorite. Anyways, yeah, Han Mass 2 is really well written and it's pretty scary, honestly. Attack of the Graveyard Ghouls. Now I have to start hurrying up. I think we're getting down to the last few, but number eleven, Attack of the Graveyard Ghouls. Well written. The story the title is sort of a lie, but it's still a really good book. Okay? Go give it when I say Attack of the Graveyard Ghouls, you're gonna go Zombies. No. Spoilers, I guess. No. But it's still good. The new cover actually makes a little more sense of how the book actually seems to work. Because they're not they're not zombies. They're ghosts, pretty much. Anyways, yeah. Um, How about my shrunken head number 10? Hmm. Shrunky. Sexual feelings for shrunky. Someone make a poll. I probably should shut up. Number 10, How I Got My Shrunken Head. Mostly because Shrunken Head, he's just awesome. And also, I love the jungle theme. The book is actually scary. It's really good. Next one up, Ride the Living Dummy, another slappy book. Finally, getting more slappy in here, you know? Ride the Living Dummy stands out. Because I actually recently read this, I just really liked it. I actually really liked it. It was just honestly a phenomenal book. Honestly, no doubt about that. I'm the cat in the hat. I don't know what that was. We have Night of Living Number 2. Um, number 8, Night of Living Number 2. Um, the reason why this is uh, lower than the first two is because... Well, uh, I do love the cover art, but not going off that. But I think the fear factor was definitely higher than the first one. But the first one was more well written. It's kind of an origin story for Slappy. So, and the third one... I'll get to that in a minute. It's really a quote. But seriously, it's just like a mid... It's definitely like second. It, it honestly, it's a good book. It could be better than Lying Dummy Dummy because it's literally the next one, number seven. Oh my god, it's very coincidental. It's the seventh book in the original series. Um, number seven, Night of Living Dummy. It's the origin story for Slappy. Okay, the origins of the Living Dummy. He's awesome. He's crazy. I mean, it's not the origin, origin, origins. Like, go read Slappy's Evil Twin. It's pretty good. Um, or Sloppy's Nightmare, might be coming up soon. Um, seriously, it's a really good book. It's a nice setup to the Living Dummy franchise. The very first Living Dummy book, but not the very first Living Dummy story, according to stuff. I mean, Sloppy's Nightmare took, bef was, uh, took before Night of the Living Dummy. Haunted Mask, number six. Oh my god. Um, there's many ways why this is better than Haunted Mask 2, but the one reason is because it's so nostalgic. The cover, we're not going off the cover arts, but the cover is pretty cool. Um, Stein really did a, well, a really good job writing this book. I think, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, this is his personal favorite book. That's why it was the first episode they did. Especially because how Ing was coming up. They could have just did Attack of Jack Lanterns. Even though it wasn't around yet. It wasn't even made. That's why it's not in this list. If anything, it would be like number 21. 22 top 25s anyways number five uh never really got me free um let's just say rocky's role means a lot to me and i like that we have a hero dummy for once instead of a zany maniatic moron dummy so yeah rocky really is cool top three everybody top three pick these all up at once we're gonna have to go really quick because i have to make this under 30 seconds Love it, everyone. Really good book. Really scary. Main character is the same name as me. It's really interesting how many similarities to my life that book has. And super relatable. Slappy's Nightmare. Very comedic. One of the most comedic and also very scary Goosebumps books of all time. Scary. I'm just joking. But for scary. 
Egg Monster from Mars, one of the most nostalgic Goosebumps books of all time for me because it's one of the very first few I actually ever read. Hope y'all enjoyed the top 10 Goosebumps books, not top 20 Goosebumps books, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.